Hey guys, Jenny here with Isa.LA and I'm going to show you how to wax at home. So a lot of you know that I actually don't like going to the beauty salon. I have been doing my own pedicure and manicure for years. Um, I've learned how to do it on my own just because when I was younger, um, I would actually go a lot and I was like one day I was like, um, I could do this at home. So um, yeah, that's how I started doing it at home and I also wax at home. Um, I color my hair at home, not now since it's natural, but um, I used to do it before. I actually don't cut my hair. That's the only time that I actually go to the beauty salon is to get my, my hair cut. Um, or if I'm like getting highlights or you know something that I actually can't do or don't have the knowledge of, um, then I'll go. But other than that, like if I can do it at home, I'm gonna do it at home. So. For today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to wax at home and I've partnered up with TrendEasy.com. They sent me a bag of the famous Instagram hard wax beans, which I've been dying to buy, guys. And I'll show you the bag. Um, I'm sure you've seen them around. They're like the little uh, beads. I've been trying to get my hands on these because I've been wanting to try them out just because you don't need a strip to remove the wax so that obviously saves me money so i've been trying to uh get my hands on this and they're like we'll send you a bag just let us know your review if you like it or not so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how i wax at home and if i would actually buy this myself if i recommend it or if i'm going to go back to using my cream wax so that's what i've been waxing with um, all these years is a cream wax so I'm excited to try these out and see if it works and also they say that it's not painful at all so I don't know if I'm like the perfect candidate for that just because I'm so used to um, waxing that I'm like not gonna feel any pain at all but um, yeah so I just hope I like it so I can keep using it but um, let's get started guys. Before we get started, um, I'm making sure that the wax is not too hot. Guys, this is like one of the biggest things you guys have to check before you apply the wax um, is to make sure that it's not hot. Um, we don't want to burn ourselves. Okay, so I'm going to just um, groom my eyebrows to make sure that I get rid of you know the hairs that are sticking out. Um, and they look nice and groomed and polished. And I'm also going to check that the wax is not um, too hot. So now we want to apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth. So for this part of the eyebrow, it, we're going to apply it in this direction. And uh, also underneath, we're going to do it um, in this direction as well. So let's do this guys so I'm gonna take my wax and I'm going to apply it and we want to make sure that um, it's thick enough so we can pull it off so you don't want to do just like a, a thin coat because then you won't be able to remove it and this wax actually dries really quick guys Okay, so that's one. So we have to wait for it to dry and get hard. So we're gonna wait, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, I think we can pull it now, so let's see. So we want to pull the skin so we can rip it off. So make sure you always pull. Now we're gonna take it off and that's it. let's see if it worked okay I see a little bit of hairs okay that was easy all right now let's do this part however I do see a little bit of like hairs here that weren't removed so that's not good okay let's do it again maybe like I'm not an expert yet okay so now I'm going to apply it here Okay, this one like was like caught, guys. Oh 
Okay, now the, we have to wait for it to get hard. So wait. It needs to dry. Okay, I think we can pull it now since it's already hard. It's not sticky anymore. So let's pull. Okay, it does remove hair, but not like completely how um, I like it. Because I still see some hairs. So I'm going to have to actually pluck those out with my tweezers, which I don't like. It defeats the purpose, right? But let me try the other side. Okay, so I'm going to groom this brow. So on this one, I'm adding a little bit more pressure. Okay, that's like a big. Okay, so it's dry, guys. Ready? Let's see if, if this is going to work. So pull the skin and then pull it off. Okay, this one was way better, guys. So this one actually did remove my hair, which this is a plus. Now let's do this upper area. Now I'm getting... So we're adding like more pressure. Now let's pull it off guys, let's see. Okay, that worked too guys. So, this was awesome. Okay, now we're gonna do this part. So I'm placing it in the direction of the hair growth and then we're gonna remove it Okay, now we have to wait for it to dry and then we can rip it, right? So it, it's hard. So let's remove it. So that's how I wax my eyebrows, guys. Actually, I really do like the um, hard wax beans i think they're pretty cool just because you don't need just because you don't need the strips and that also like saves me money and saves you money so if you guys are looking to wax at home i do recommend the beans just because it is very easy to use just make sure that it's not hot because i don't want you guys to um burn yourself let me know if you guys enjoyed this video in the comments down below and if it was helpful. If it was, make sure to share it out with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to do. Maybe if you guys want me to review other um, products out on the market, let me know. I would be happy to review those um, as well. And honestly, like this is my honest review. I do like the beans just because it's very easy to use. So if you are a beginner, like I said, this is a... Um, easy way to get started if you guys are interested in purchasing the beads you guys can go down to my description box i have linked the trend easy um link so you guys can go get this bag and honestly it's a really good deal because you get how many beads are there um, 
It doesn't say how many beads you guys get, but it's a pretty big bag. It's a 8.8 ounce bag. So, and a little bit goes a long way. I only use maybe like this much. Yep, like this much. Um, so you guys don't need a lot if you're going to do your eyebrows, you know, or your upper lip. Um, a little bit goes a long way. But if, obviously if you're going to use like larger areas like your leg, your arms, your underarm, your bikini area, you're going to need more. But a little bit goes a long way for, you know, your eyebrows and your upper lip and stuff. So um, definitely it's a good buy because it will last you a long time. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment. And um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.